major thing is to contribute NATO air power and air policing missions and during the same time we are executing air shielding missions. For us it means that we are participating NATO exercises and contributing uh, the whole big picture since we are doing our um, national flight training during the same time. And one crucial part for us is that we are enhancing our deployment capabilities since we have been homeland defenders for decades that now we are learning and enhancing the capabilities to operate under the host nation support in other countries. We are here to contribute NATO air power and deter aggression. This is our first time here in Romania and it is great that we are able to enhance the NATO itself. It is real important milestone for Finland and the integration in the NATO air power and we are able to enhance here the Romanian air policy capabilities as a part of the alliance. Uh, we're here to provide 24-7 quick reaction alerts in support of NATO, defending international and Romanian airspace and the rules-based international order. The Black Sea is the eastern flank of NATO. We are not very far away from um, a conflict in Europe and Romania shares a border with Ukraine. So as a political or geopolitical um, location, Romania and its eastern side is very important. So the UK conducts air policing across all of the eastern flank of NATO and we take it in turns with our colleagues and partners to make sure that all of the um, air policing detachments that are required three times a year are filled across the east. Last year we were in um, Amari in Estonia and in the two years before that we were back here um, in Romania. Next year we go to Poland and then in 2026 we may come back to Romania but we um, 
We vary what we do across the eastern flank. It allows us to work with different partners and nations, and it all has to be in sequence with the other air policing nations and where they require to be. So the Finnish Air Force have been a partner nation of NATO for many years. We share a long, rich history. We were both formed in 1918, and we've operated and worked together, both the UK and Finland, but also Finland and NATO for many years. Having the Finnish here on an air policing detachment with us allows us to learn from them. Their um, Air Force credentials are second to none. There are some particular areas where they are world leaders in that we look to learn from them, such as things like agile combat employment and dynamic use of, uh, of your aircraft. So we look forward to both integrating them into the NATO air policing mission here with us, but also learning from our Finnish colleagues and professionals in their Air Force. For Romania, it's good to work with NATO allies because they have more experience with Patriot than us because we have from 2019. Uh, the best part to use the experience of the old NATO allies is uh, good for us because we are new in uh, this, uh, this system, Patriot, and they have from more to a long time ago Patriot, and it's better for us to change the experience. Class 1 uh, US threat has become uh, one of the most important threats that we observe at the moment in the, in the military conflicts. Uh, for many years, uh, having air superiority was one of the pillars of the NATO doctrine. We have seen recently that that's no longer the case, and then smaller uh, aircraft and those drones from the airs can uh, cause a lot of damages to our units and the troops. For this exercise, uh, Remstein Legacy 2024, we have been uh, in Romania, close to the uh, Black Sea. Uh, we have been doing some uh, experiments here with counter drone equipment. Um, we have been flying our own drone uh, to see how the system can detect and counter the operation of those drones. Uh, what was interesting here, we already see that there are some uh, degradation of the GPS signal uh, which affected our exercise as well. Uh, however, with support from uh, operational commands, we were able to eliminate that uh, threat after uh, a couple of hours. So in this exercise, we are complementing the ground-based air defense uh, system. So uh, we have to find uh, um, balance solution that we can counter these uh, cheap drones. We cannot use very expensive equipment and as such we have to be very creative, innovative to find those uh, uh, new solution of detecting the drones. So uh, also very important for us is to keep the pace of development. Uh, we do not have uh, much time to adopt to the threat. As such we have to work hand in hand with industry and military to make sure that we uh, get the, the right solution from the beginning. Now everyone has a, a, a shared understanding of uh, some of the uh, county U.S. operations. Um, so what we're trying to do is share like best practices and also the NATO concept um, to for units to go back to their home station and employ some uh, aggressive county U.S. measures and solutions. It's important to mitigate the risk of the uh, unmanned aircraft systems that's currently being employed. You know, so it's working together and, um, and having a shared understanding and knowledge of how we can in increase uh, to develop solutions.